Okay, now we're here at the Lamborghini Festival. I'm G, your host, and we have KK, our co-host. And we have staying next to us is Billy. And on your shirt looks like a Mira 50th anniversary. Yes, that's correct. That's correct. Okay, Billy, tell us a little bit about your car All right. right here. I mean, what what's the color scheme on this car? Well, this car is uh, actually uh, pistachio uh, with a mustard colored interior. Um, the car oh, was well, what year made is it first? 1968. Uh, this is a Mira S, which is uh, uh, the, for, su for super fast. That's pretty <laughs> much right. Yeah. Um, yeah. And what makes it uh, really special right now is that it was the only uh, car chosen by Lamborghini from America for their 50th anniversary of the Mira Tour that took place across Italy this summer. Wow, that's fantastic! Well, yeah, did you take your car there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they picked uh, 20 cars from around the world and they underwent a, a very, very uh, extensive scrutinization right. process because right. it was bad publicity to have a bunch of broken down cars <laughs> on a gigantic <laughs> media promotional five-day drive. Wow, so wow, wow, wow. They wanted to make sure that all the cars were ro ro roadworthy, and it's very difficult to have a museum car that's been sitting for 20 years, put a new battery in it and fresh air in the tires and expect to do something like oh, that. Oh, exactly, so, exactly. So Are you sure they're, they're, they're bound to break down or something like this? Right. So, uh, so Let's take a look at the wheels. Come around here, Rob. And uh, looks... Are these knockoff wheels? Those are knockoff wheels. Those are magnesium wheels. So if you had a lighter, you could put it down there and they would catch on fire. <laughs> I kind of doubt and, that. Um, well, <laughs> I don't think I'll be done it with a lighter. Yeah, don't do that. But, uh, but yeah, and so uh, so the car is uh, uh, opens up with uh, clamshells, uh, just like you see a lot of. Hang on, hang on a second. Get the microphone. Whoops, I'm sorry. Okay, take a look at this. This is called a clamshell right here, right? That's right. And so this car has a transverse, that means sideways, mounted V12. Oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry, say one more. I had the microphone up here. Okay. I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh, this is a, a transverse mounted V12. What that means is that it's mounted sideways. It's right behind the passenger and the driver. These cars were never even offered with uh, radios because all you hear is the beautiful music of the engine. The engine carries a common sump and a common uh, gearbox, and it was designed uh, by Giotto Bizzarini, who um, was the designer of the uh, 250 GTO Ferrari, oh, really? and worked at Ferrari at that time, left, went to work for Lamborghini, and designed this, uh, this engine and power plant. This was considered the world's first supercar because it was the first car that you could buy that could run 170 miles an hour straight off the showroom floor. Uh, it was designed by three 25-year-old um, guys that worked for Bertoni. And what uh, Ferruccio Lamborghini did was he hired these guys to come and make him a car that was unlike anything else. And so what they did was they asked him, they said, well, now tell us about your, your crest. And so it's the bull. It's right. the bull because he was uh, right. born in August, and so he's a Taurus. And so uh, well, they said, that that's right. So they said, all right, well, what we want to do is we want to uh, build a car that celebrates the bull. So I'm going to hand this back to you. Okay. Let's go around the front right here. He's closing the clamshell up. Now, take a look at the interior right here. Hey, right. Okay. Open up the door here for these guys so they now, can get the Now, we're talking sitting sitting low to the ground. This is sitting low to the ground. Come here, take a look in here, Rob. You're about look four at this. Inches off the ground. Four inches off the ground. Look at this. Man, talking about immaculate condition. 50th anniversary car. <laughs> now, take a look at here. Bertone right here. Bertone, yeah. Bertone. Yeah, so if you'll stand in front of the car and look okay. back. You'll see the horns on each side. Oh, these are the horns right here. Yeah. Come here, uh, Rob. I'm trying to get you to get you to go up there so you can actually get a. Uh, Come here, Rob. Get a visual. So these are considered eyelashes. All right. These are they the eyes. eyelashes. Oh wow, wow, wow! For the eyes. Now I see what you're talking about. Like a bull right here. There's the horns right there. Oh, I see what you're talking about now. This is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now I'll open up the hood. Sorry? We're going to open up the hood. <laughs> As we open up the hood, the tires are excellent shape. Looks like brand new tires. 
Yeah, so, uh, so you got your gas tank and your spare tire up here and battery and all uh, because everything else is back there. And um, it uh, gives the car a lot of great balance. And so it, uh, it's a really, it's a fantastic GT sports car. And it will forever be known as the, uh, the first supercar. Oh, awesome, awesome. Now, I see you got some new horns on there. Is that a special horn? Those are not new horns. Those are restored FIAM horns. Uh, they use a little air compressor here. You actually have to put oil in that compressor to keep them, keep them all lubed up in there and all. And uh, they are typical Italian horns. So. <laughs> So it's just, it's got this, its own sound. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's got its own, it's two trumpets, slightly different notes, and it's got a special sound. Can you do it right quick? Well, I pulled the fuse. Oh, you Because did? the fuse that controls the horns also runs a clock in there, and when it's setting out like this, it'll tend to run the battery down if I don't uh, oh. don't pull the fuse out. So. Okay, okay. Yeah, sorry. Rob, take a look all inside here. Look how clean all this is. Man, it is one clean car. It just can't, when were you in Italy with your car? Uh, this summer, it was in June. Um, it then uh, and it was raining and it was nasty and and uh, we're on cobblestone streets and it was filthy and then it went into a container and it cooked on there for about six weeks as it went across the ocean back to Texas and then I had to get it cleaned up to go to Pebble Beach and so we uh, we carried it out and it won its class at the Quail uh, and it won the President's Award at Concorso Italiano. And so I was literally spending every night cleaning with toothpicks. <laughs> ready to go. Wow, wow. So, uh, Pella Beach so is right like now, the top. So right now I'm, uh, I'm, I'm thrilled that it's cleaned up and I'm, it's a nice, beautiful day. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, Sunny it is. Houston. So. Oh, my God. You got one fabulous car. Thank you. Thank wow. you. Wow, 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 wow. Thank you so much. You're I appreciate welcome. it. Billy, enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you.